What you see behind me being built here is the first fully automated terminal in North America. Throughout the day, we receive 10,000 different containers going in and out of this facility. We're doing anywhere from three to 5,000 lifts. We're continuing to track close to 10 to 15,000 containers at any given hour and any given shift. The ships are getting bigger, so we're having to improve our facilities to be able to support these larger vessels. To get the efficiency that we need, we've elected to do automation here. Everything here is an endpoint on a network. Every piece, every component, everything that operates in the yard outside of the ship to shore cranes is automated. It requires 85 miles of fiber to do this, two data centers, 105 IDFs, 300 edge switches, seven Nexus 7000 switches. It is one massive network ecosystem and it all runs on IP. We're using automated stacking cranes, semi-automated key cranes, and we're using automated guided vehicles throughout the entire facility. The cranes behind us, the ASCs, they have 20 milliseconds of delay. Anything over 20 milliseconds, you start to get an alarm. At 100 milliseconds, they shut down. You can't have downtime. Vector, Cisco, and us worked diligently close together for almost two years preparing for this site. There is not one individual that could do this by themselves. It is a true partnership that we see invested in here. We actually did all the integration, all the configuration, all the testing, and worked with the other partners like Onyx, Siemens, and ABB to configure the components to support their systems. There is no choice but to integrate these systems. Otherwise, you have a multi-billion dollar investment that is just a slab of concrete. It all ties together with a Cisco network. The technology will allow us to what we call turn the vessels quicker. And it's a tangible return that you can actually see. And I chose Cisco and Vector so that I can sleep because my terminal doesn't.